Making a quick video showing a potential design issue with the uh, Harrop E locker. Just going to show you guys the locker's on, and there's been a bit of talk about it unlocking and relocking in uh, when switching directions, going from forwards to backwards. Um, my understanding when I bought the locker was that once you flick the switch, it was locked in, um, and then it wasn't, wouldn't unlock until um, when you unlocked it, when you pushed the switch and turned it off. But I've since found out that's not the case. So I'm just going to show you guys in the real kind of world situation when it's in the car, exactly what happens and, and how much wheel movement and stuff like that you can get from it. Um, so this is a genuine Harrop E-Locker that's in Ishnavara. So the lock is engaged at the moment. As you can see, it's locked in the forward position. Both wheels turning at the exact same speed. So then if I go into reverse, I've got to unlock. And there we go. That's open centre at the moment. And once we get that bit of turn on the drive shaft, it seems to kick it back in. That's in reverse. Now we'll go to forward, just watch this left wheel. There we go. We had a bit of movement. Look at that. So it's probably putting a fair bit of pressure on that diff when it does that. That's going unlocked again. Go back the other way. It seems to be with the drive shaft turning. That's when it locks back in. Go forward. Look at that. That's not even locked in right now. It's freewheeling. Until we get a bit of drive shaft turn like that, and now, oh, there we go. Start to lock back in now. Go back. Bang! Look at that. And imagine if that was under load. Puts a bit of pressure on the other side. Probably internally in the diff, it's probably not not too good for it either, really. There we go. Let's get back in now. This is all because of the design of it, how it's got the ramp mechanism. So as, you, as the wheel changes direction, it slides back down the ramp like that. You know, and that's just kind of lim limbo at the moment. There we go, now it's locked back in. Got the forward lock again, we'll go backwards. There go, that's locked back in. Now that was about at least a quarter of a wheel turn then. Look at that. So I mean if that was under load, it's probably putting a fair bit of pressure on the locker there. It could cause it to dam damage it internally. Look at that. <laughs> there you go, Harrop E-Locker.